Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I just want to say thanks so much for all the support on the last episode, you guys, the house building episode. I was really hoping that you guys would enjoy it, and I really did. I love building. So thanks again. If you do like this video, guys, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. You can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So today we're going to be making a paint gun, and for that we need a fabricator. I've, I've, I've grabbed a little bit of materials. I'm ready to kind of do this or at least get it started, and then we can play around with some dyes and paint. And Some of the things that we'll set up in the house today may not be permanent, but for the most part we'll start moving in the right direction so I've got a mortar and pestle a cooking pot a foundation that I'm gonna try to use for a table <laughs> some supplies for gas and a little bit of storage other than that it's time to make the fabricator so let's go inside I've got all the stuff in the smithy ready to go what in the world <laughs> Trax is unconscious like that he is look his eyes are closed and I guess Corrales is an AFK. This looks very, very awkward. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, I was smelting up some metal, and I just went. I didn't want to take all the metal out of the forge uh, in order to uh, create this, so I went ahead and grabbed some extra metal. I like to do that every time I'm about to do a project. I like to make sure there's enough metal in there, so I leave some behind for people. Okay, so. The only thing we're really running short on is oil, but I'm the one that got most of the oil anyway, so I don't feel bad about this at all. All right. Structures, crafting, fabricator. And it looks like Drax just woke up and he's still in the air. <laughs> How awkward is that? <laughs> oh, the fabricator gave me a level. Fantastic. Let me go ahead and pull that bad boy out of there. Nice. Uh, let's see. What What are we going to raise right now, guys? I think we're going to bump weight to, again, and go toward 200 for that. Cool, that should be good. All right, got the fabricator. And there's Drax. <laughs> and I guess I'm going to... I don't know if I should install it in here or I should install it in my house. I'm not sure. Maybe Drax has some ideas about it. Let me let me think about this, you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And we made some renovations. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks so much for the help, Drax. I really appreciate it, man. It, it seems like it's a lot just for a freaking paint gun. But, uh... Oh well. It needed to be done. Yeah, it, it did. It did. So I like the streamlined setup you got here with the uh, the mortar and pestles. We yeah, and you can still reach up. all these. Right, and the fireplaces have moved inside now, and we widen it all up. And the roof is well. Let's not talk about the ceiling. But we did what we <laughs> had to do. But anyway, and we installed the fabricator, which was the big one. So I was gonna document this on film for you guys, but look at the uh, look at the requirements for the the paint gun. It's, it's really ridiculous. It takes 50 metal ingots, 35 polymer, 40 crystals, 60 cementing paste, 20 oil, and 5 hide. So Drax helped me pull together all of the resources. I'm going to go ahead and craft it up, you guys. Drax, you going to get some XP for this? I'm going to steal it right when it gets done. <laughs> 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 all right. Paint gun is made. Okay, so this thing is really, really cool, actually. If uh, let, me, let me go ahead and turn this thing off since we're finished with that. And now it can make some noise. So, we don't have any dye. We're going to have to make some dye oh, up. I got some pink. You got some pink? Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know if we should spray anything pink. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some white. <laughs> how about this? I have the stuff that's set up for a cooking pot at my house. Why don't you come mosey on over to my crib, uh, and we'll make some dye up. All right, man. All right, guys. We're back, and I made a little improvement to the house. <laughs> but this is where I'm going to be cooking my... Uh, my dyes and and everything that I need basically. It's just my little cooking setup, my pantry, so to speak. I've got a Very couple nice. of boxes up top, my my mortar and pestle, and my cooking pot. It's not exactly a Cajun kitchen, but I mean, you know, I do what I can. Uh, so anyway, let's make some white dye, and that's what we're gonna start with. Uh, so there's a, a little bit of charcoal that I have. Drax put some thatch in here for me to burn, and the stem berries should be able to provide me with some white dye and where did you say that the uh, the paint gun was in here yeah in there all right cool now i knew you'd forget something so what? i thought ahead and got you a water skin oh you're such a sweetheart Drax. thank you <laughs> <laughs> i forgot all about that i was like yeah you do need water to make dye don't you mm -hmm. all right we got a little bit of dye 
Sweet. Okay, so you load it up just like you do a paintbrush. You just drop it on top, right? And then... Oh, I guess we should make a paintbrush as well. Let's see what I need for a paintbrush, actually. So, it looks like I just need some wood and some hide. I should probably have that already. Yeah, in this chest over here, for sure. Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll make a paintbrush. I, I got a question, though. Are you going to put mm -hmm. some uh, covers on these windows? Because it's going to get awfully drafty. I don't think I'm going to put covers on them. If they would open up... I think I would do that, but they don't. Like, they open oh, it yeah. They open to the side, and I don't like that. All right, so let's go outside just to try this out first. So if I take my brush and, for instance, I, I click this, okay? It's going to give me color region 1 through 6, which 2, 3, and 4 are grayed out. If I select 1, it's going to color the back. If I select 2, it's going to color just the trim. And if I select 6, it's going to cover the front. So we want one and six. So check this out. With the paint gun, I'm going to load it up. And you can hold right click and tell it which number. So one is already enabled. So I'm just going to press number six while I'm holding right click. And that's going to enable region six as well. And I'm just going to spray it. Boop. And the back oh, and the front nice. is done. It's beautiful, man. So And it just uses dye like regular. So I can just paint as I go. I can hold it down and just click on all of the things. You try it, man. Dude, it's really, really sweet. cool. <laughs> yeah. That's it's that, that's a reason why it's so expensive, I guess, because it's really, really nice to be able to use. Now, is it, like, do you notice it use any more or less paint than... No, uh, I think it's pretty much the same amount of paint. And even if it is, it's really, really cheap to make paint. Oh, it might be different. So, hold right-click. Uh huh. And then make sure one and six are both enabled. Oh, how do I change the six? Just hold right click and press six. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There you go. And it's painting the inside too, guys, as you can see when I go in here. It's painting all the insides of the walls as well. And it's leaving just the trim, which I'm going to actually paint brown, I think. Dude. I can be a painter with this. <laughs> it's nice, huh? It's really, really nice. So I thought the white would be a good, uh, a good color. Yeah. I have a white house, man. <laughs> white house. It's nice, man. Because a lot of the colors don't actually show up very well. Did you um, dye Timberland saddle pink? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I can't believe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, you can't do that to me, Drax. You can't do that to me, man. You know how I feel about pink. I know this. <laughs> That's why you did. Huh? I mean, Tiny was pink, so I just figured, you know, right. if he was a man, you could be a man. And... Uh, no, Tiny's <laughs> Tiny's a different kind of man. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, a big man. <laughs> Tiny's a big fruity man. <laughs> All right, so I guess you know he's just making me paint this whole house while. Yeah. Uh... See y'all later. Drax is gonna paint. Thanks for watching. No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. We're gonna think about some other colors and play around with this design, guys. I'm gonna let Drax go to work and do his things. We'll be back. So, y'all, I've been playing around with a lot of colors and a lot of different design ideas, and I started thinking about ladders. So, you see how the pattern and it's gonna be raining. Well, I needed some water anyway. <laughs> we'll do it anyway. So, I've been thinking about some patterns just to kind of break this up, and it, when you see. I was thinking like to go with the shutters, but ladders place a little bit differently. But when I started placing them, they kind of look pretty good. So let me go ahead and place these and I'll show you kind of what they look like. When you get on them too, they're they're kind of squirrely, first of all. Like I was having trouble placing. See how it's like it says it's obstructed and you can kind of move around here. And every once in a while you can get it to where it shows like that. Okay. But if you get on the ladder and you just place it like this well it was working earlier <laughs> let me get this back here all right now i placed it now i should be able to place this is how i was doing the other ones at least no it doesn't appear to do it well it was working on the other ones i guess i'll have to do what i was doing before let's see here nine get it like that and 
Boom, done. All right, so you see how it adds a little bit of pattern? It just kind of changes up the rigidity, and I like that. It's not a whole window or whatever, but it's a stripe on the house, and it does look kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and place some right here. If I can make it do. Come on, baby, place. There we go. So one more. Will it work if I'm on this thing? Nope. Still, no. I can't believe it was working before, and now it's not going to work for you guys. Just because I'm trying to show you all a trick. All right. You just got to get the right angle. It's so weird. This mechanic is so strange. Okay. Nine. Oh. That's not going to work like that. Oh, I just had it. Come on, back. Come. All right. One more to place. Boom. That one was easy. Okay. So... I went ahead and did that on the other sides as well, and I think it looks really, really good. And I changed up the post to white, and I decorated the door a little bit. Plus, I went out, I went around with the spray can and started changing all of the uh, the regular wood on the trim for the windows to brown, and it looks a lot better. Now the ladders are already really brown, so that's pretty good. I thought about another color, but I don't know what I would do. I changed up the door as well. The door is really sexy now it's a dark brown with a white handle and when you go inside I started painting the inside tan now tan was a kind of weird color to go with but it works really good it's a little bit offset and it works out well like I like it let me see if I can go back to no I can't change the gamma anymore to kind of show you to give you it in this light it doesn't look as good as it did before only because I guess it's kind of I guess it's not tinted right because of the light, but you can see the difference right here. That's what the white is. One thing I didn't like about this setup is, you see how the white is right here? When you hit it with the brush, it doesn't allow you to change one side or the other. You either change the trim or the panel, and the panel is the same color on both sides. Now, I did change this to the the tan as well, and it went on. I looked on the outside, and it just looks too much. I'd rather it on the inside, so it's the lesser of the two evils. But I went ahead and did them all, and it looks pretty good. So the only thing that I have left, I guess, would be the flooring and stuff. Now, I thought about colors for the flooring, and I'm going to try something a little bit different. Since there's no gray, and I thought gray would look pretty good, I think I'm going to try something else. And I made what's called parchment. So parchment is, well, no, that's the tan. Where is the parchment color here? Uh, oh, I didn't make parchment yet. All right, so let me see here. Just one second while I pull up the wiki. So the parchment is 12 yellow and... Let's see, what is that? 12 yellow and 6 white, along with 1 gunpowder. So, do I have gunpowder? Let's see here. I do not have any more gunpowder, so I should be able to make some right quick. Oh, I do have one in here already. That's perfect. Okay, never mind. So, we need 12 yellow. Shift click, shift click, and double click. And how many white do we need again? 6. So, shift click and single click. And I'm going to need some water. I'll just use my can for this. And we'll light the fire and get that going. Now, I was noticing that it seemed like it was raining through the roof up here. Was it? Can I refill my water can like this? No. Okay, so it's only an illusion. That's okay. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I can't do that. But I'm going to need to hook up some water in here, too. And I was thinking that this would be a great place for a little tap. Um, now, I don't know if I'll be able to... I guess I'll have to put it outside, maybe like a little well in the back or something like that. I'm not sure, but I should have... Yeah, here's my parchment coloring right here. All right, we'll go ahead and pull this back out. Oh, I didn't have my water jar. That's why it didn't work. Maybe it was not an illusion. Hmm, I'll have to test it next time it's raining. Derp. Okay, so now that we have that going on, let's put it on the... I guess we'll put it on the paint gun. Parchment? Yes, parchment. And I'll put my extra, I have white on the brush, just so I could see what's what. So if I paint this, oh, you know what I just noticed? This floor is a different pattern than this. Oh, this is going to kill me. It should, be, <laughs> it should be fine. All right. So paintbrush. Okay. So the region for this would be, that's the underneath. 
Region 6 seems to be the facing of it. All right, what about the bottom? Do we have any control over that? Hmm, I don't know. Region 5 is just that trim. So I, I'm guessing Region 1 is that, but I can't really tell. Let's go Region 6, and we'll just dye it like this and see how it looks. All right, so that's the white. That's what the white would look like. Now let's equip the spray gun. And we said region 6, right? So we'll change it. We'll right click and hit 6. And we'll also hit 1 to disable 1. And that would be the color of the floor. Let me spray a few more of these and try to get the feel of what it would look like. Do I like that? I mean, <laughs> the mortar in between makes it look kind of weird. I think maybe a brown color might be better. Hmm. Alright guys, you can sort of see the colors at this time of day really well. I'm just going around painting these insides, like the trim. You see how the, the, the posts are white? And I think on these windows, uh, it's a different color because it doesn't seem to want to paint it. So let's see. I've been, I don't know how to test it. If there's another way to test it with the paint gun, you guys let me know. But what I've been doing is swinging with the brush and seeing. And let's see, on the back side here... Ah, okay, it's region 3 on these. Okay, so if we go back to the paint gun, right click, 3 and 1, and it paints it. Cool. So I decided to go with a brown floor. Now, I messed around with a lot of other colors, namely black. I tried the tan that I had, which just kind of seemed to melt into everything else, and there was no definition to it. Um, and I also tried. Wait, did I say I tried black? Yeah, I tried black. I tried the parchment look, and it was a little bit too yellow. And I think that's all I tried. I didn't try pink or purple or any of that stuff, but I know I won't like that. So altogether, I like the way the white trim comes in and looks right here. Uh, also, I did the brown trim and the white ramp on these. And I'm just going to fix it up right quick. Just to show it a little bit of contrast, you know what I mean? Because this was already, um, it's just a stairway, you know, so it should be different. Okay, and the important thing is this is not messing with the outside. I love that you can do the two color walls. I really wish the slopes would do the same thing, uh, like the slope roof segments, like um, up top. Oh, Y'all know what I mean, the new <laughs> the new blocks. All right, I call it blocks like it's Minecraft. Y'all know what I mean, though. Okay, so this should be pretty good. Uh, we do need to paint that. What color are we going to paint that? Everything else is that tan. Hmm, I don't, can I paint the ramp of anything here? Uh, let's see. The underside of the ramp would change. Ah, so it is region 3. Actually, let's do this. Let's change this to, is that parchment? No, this is tan. Let's change it to tan. Let's do region 3 right here. No, actually, we'll do, we'll change this out because we need to die okay and on the other side of it that looks good but we'll we'll need white for that and the same thing for this so we'll grab white and now we should be able to paint the on the side of this there we go that's white we can paint the underside of this I think oh yeah we can region 5 so the paintbrush is just like the trim. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And what do we get right here? Is it region 3? Yeah. Sorry about the loud noises. People with motorcycles behind us or whatever. Oh, I forgot brown right here. Oh, no. <laughs> That's going to kill me. I don't have any more brown dye. It's just the underneath of it that I would have to change right here. That's the only one. Or is it the one on top? It looks right on top. I don't know. I'm going to have to change it. But... I did enough painting for now, it's time to get on to a little bit of other stuff. Now that I got my little kitchen here set up, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with this floor either. I might just leave it as is, because it does look pretty good. It's a nice industrial look. So, right here, we already have a couple chests for storage, no big deal. I like a bookcase as well that I can put up. And I know I want to do the water thing right now, too. So, let's see, what do I need for one of those water reservoirs? Um, I need some, st I'll, I'll need some tap. I think I want to do metal for that, actually. So let's see. 
A metal water reservoir, stone water reservoir is nothing but some cementing paste and stone. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure that you would have to make the metal one in the smith. Let's head over to the other spot and see what we can do here. I know there should be some metal left over. Also, I thought about flags and stuff, but I'm really not sure. Look at that house. Look at it. It's magnificent. I love the way it looks already. Okay, so now all we're going to have to do is get the metal reservoir, get a couple of pipes, and we should be set up for a tap. So let's see. Structures, pipes. Um, I don't have any of the pipe. I wonder if there's some pipe increments in the bookshelf. Let's see here. Pipe blueprints, I'm sorry. Uh, so there is a blue metal irrigation pipe. That's good. Um, okay, we got that. There is a pipe right there. That's good. What else do we have here? I want to say we probably we won't need an intake because it's going to be coming from a reservoir. I thought I had the reservoir already, to tell you the truth. What don't I have? Uh, maybe it is in the smithy anyway. Hold on. Structures. Pipes. It's not on the pipes. Metal. Ah, uh -huh. there it is. So metal 75 and 25 cementing paste. Man, I might just want to do a stone well because that's so expensive. Let's see. I think we have some cementing paste around here as well. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I'll bet you I know where it's at. Yeah, I'll bet you I know where it's at. It's in the fabricator. Okay, yeah, we do have some cementing paste. Let's see. And how much metal did we have? We could possibly do this. No, 18. I think it's a waste, actually, guys. I really do. I think that's too much. Uh, we might be able to do some of these cementing paste and metal ingots. We can do that. I could just probably pull these ingots out here. And I can make a tap. And I can make one of these. Am I getting a little bit of lag, maybe? I think I am. Okay, how about the stone structure here? Let's go to craftables and the stone reservoir. I need 30 stone. So that should be no problem. Let's see. We've been getting a little bit of server lag today. I don't know what's going on. It's definitely the server though. It's not us. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm always looking for something. <laughs> I'll have my stuff organized soon in my own house. Let's see. I think there should be some stone around here. Ah, there we go. That should be plenty enough. Okay. Can we do, just do the reservoir now? Yep. Got the reservoir. Craft. And I'll put the leftover stone back because we won't need that anymore. And do we need the smithy to make these? I forget. It says, yes, has to be crafted in a smithy. That's why. It wasn't lag at all. So put these in the smithy along with the cementing paste along with the metal and I can make one of these or two of them actually. What does this take? Just a little bit of wood. I have that too. Uh, what am I missing? More cementing paste. No problem. We had made a lot of stuff a while ago. Drax helped me so much man. Okay. That's why I don't want to be too wasteful with resources. The stone will look fine. It really will. Okay craft and we'll do a couple more pipes and that should be fine because I want the tap to look good you know <laughs> okay so I got four pipes let's go ahead and put these back where they go oh blueprints silly not the real things okay now let's get back over to the, the house. placement's a little tricky guys but I got it to work a little while ago I just wanted to do it on camera for you guys see how it comes out right here I might be able to get it to where it's up like it wants to lay down on the ground but I don't want it to lay down on the ground I want it to be inside so if I put it like right there okay it's stuck out perfect now can I attach a tap to it on the inside is the question Metal tap. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, so now I have water access where my cooking pot's at. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, <laughs> another thing I have to do is think about multiple reservoirs. 
because the, the metals don't hold that much more. Uh, but this would be better if it was a T, I believe. That way I can hook a few reservoirs to it. Um, let's see, what's one reservoir look like? Just like that. And I don't think I can hook any more up to it. Let's see. If I were to do that, it wants to come out a little bit more. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I would probably have to arrange a T for it. But it shouldn't be bad now. I can always upgrade this or put a T. I'll try this one for now. This may be enough for me. Okay. So now that we got the reservoir hooked up, it would look nice if it was on some sort of foundation. Let's see. Do I have a foundation in here? I do have a wood foundation. Let's try this. Will it go underneath? That's the thing. It looks like it wants to snap, but because that is already there, it doesn't look like it can. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay. So, not that. So, I'm attempting to fence this little thing off just to make it look nice. And, uh, because I can't fit a roof underneath. And I can't fit a, uh, a foundation underneath. So the only thing is to make it like a little water well. To make it look like a little water well. And I'm trying to get it to where this thing isn't too far in. Because from the looks of it, it's really hard to place, y'all. It just is. And it wants to snap and all kind of stuff. Hold on. Let's see. So I see the end of it right here now. This is probably going to be pretty close. So hard to tell with the grass. Yeah, that's going to be real close. Let's see. Oh, it's not close enough. Darn it. All right. One more try. Demolish. I just want it to look good. Okay. From what I can tell, that's kind of inside. That's what we want. Just a little bit inside. Is that touching? That's ah, gonna be close enough. I tried it earlier and it was like it was coming out in a weird way. Oh, don't tell me the fence foundation's backwards now. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I went ahead and got the fence foundations placed. It is a little offset right here, but that's okay. Uh, I also got the. It's raining now, so you, so you can see the water level is 50. <laughs> so I should be collecting water inside the house now. Let's go. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it sure is. Oh, that sure is nice. So I can start placing things in here. I can always have some water ready to fill up. Right now, there's not enough, naturally, but let's see here. As long as the water collection's working, it's fine. Oh, wait. There we go. So this is going to collect water as we go and just distribute it into these skins. This is really nice. It's going to be even better when I have some canteens and stuff because the canteens hold so much more water. But that is really good. Another thing I wanted to check. Let me go ahead and drink all of this. Can I go upstairs and is that illusion still happening? Can I refill my water? I can. So that's another bug with ceilings. But speaking of ceilings, I did want to try something. I should have a couple left here. And uh, let me put them into my hot bar. I want to try them over in the back to see if it can attach the ha uh, to the uh, to this and make it look a little bit better. So if I hit nine, here, oh look at that! Isn't that something? Uh, let's see, zero. Guys, that is so beautiful. So I wonder if this thing collects water even if I cover it up. I don't think it looks bad like this, like not at all, but you know, <laughs> okay, let's paint this right quick, boom, oh, that's so neat, okay, I am going to try a roof, I have to, uh, what do we need, sloped roof, that's the thing, so sloped roof, uh, wait, sloped wood roof is what we need, there it is right there. Sloped. No, that's ceiling. Wait, where's the other one? Sloped wood roof. Okay, I need 30 more wood. Um, 
I know I had some. There we go. Perfect. Sloped wood roof. Is that it? No, that's wooden ceiling again. I'm gonna mess this up forever. Sloped wood roof. Nice. Alright. The question is, can I use it? Sloped wood roof. There it is. Alright. Will it fit? Oh, it doesn't attach. Can't place sloped roof requires nearby foundation. Ah, okay. Foundation. So something's up with it to where it can't do that. I guess just due to the way the wall is placed, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting it to work anyway, and it might just block off the water. But that's totally, totally cool. I really like that. So now we have just like a little water well in the back, kind of like you would see attached to a house or something like that. Maybe, you know, there has air conditioned units and stuff like that. At least uh, they are around here, and it's just kind of underexposed. So last but not least, I'd like to try to play around with these handrails. I do have quite a bit of fence foundations, and I've never actually done this before, so I thought I'd derp with you guys on camera, just so y'all can see what it looks like. So supposedly the way this works is that you can take a fence foundation. Will it fit on this roof? So it looks like you can place it like, where is it at, here? Okay, did it, did it even place? I don't even know if it did. It sounded like it placed. Um, let's try right there. Okay, so now I got one right there for sure. And on top we can go. Just like this. Did I just mess something up? No, I didn't mess anything up. Oh! Huh. Maybe I did. Uh, oops, fence foundation demolished. Okay, so that's not quite high enough. I'm going to need to make a few more foundations. But what you can do is keep stacking these and demolish the top one. So let me get some more foundations together and I'll be right back. So it's really, really dark right now. <laughs> and I have Gamma 4 on, but I've gotten all of the fence foundations placed. I don't know what happened here. But the reason that I have the crossbow equipped is I'm using these crosshairs that are enabled on the server in order to see what I'm demolishing. So, if I demolish this fence foundation, that opens back up, right? I should have a hole underneath. Let's do this too. Demolish. Now you could do this without the crossbows, naturally, but... I mean, the, uh, the crosshairs, but it's easier. So it takes 16 fence foundations to make one handrail. It kind of sucks. But that's the way you gotta do it. And when you get them all down, you're left with just this top rail. And it looks really good. I don't I didn't invent this by the way. This has been done by a bunch of people. <laughs> Ormanage was the first guy to do it, I think, and Slipgator used it, and now a bunch of people use it. And it it does look really good. So let's see. Can I paint this sucker? Hmm. Maybe with the brush? I don't even know if I can do this. Uh, let's go white. I know it's really bright, guys. Just hold tight. Okay. Will it let me paint it? Region. Okay, so region. I don't think anything changes, honestly. Uh, let's see. Tan coloring. No, I'm not seeing any changes at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Just in case, this is what I'm going to do here. Gamma. Can I see yet? Yeah. Gamma. Let's do gamma three. That way I can see a little bit better and it's not so tinted. So let me enable all of these. Two, three, four, five, and six. Nope. Fence foundations cannot be painted. Son of a gun. Oh, well, it's still a nice handrail, and it's still brown, so we'll just deal with it. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll finish this, guys. All right, you guys, the handrails are done. It looks really good. I had to demolish all 15 under each of these top handrails. I really wish I could paint them, but hey, you can't have your way with everything. I did also make a preserving bin in a bookshelf I'd like to install right before I let you go. I'm going to go ahead and put the preserving bin here. Naturally, it will be replaced by a refrigerator sooner or later. 
I'm gonna try to save some space here and install it real tight and then right here I guess I'm gonna put the bookshelf I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the bookshelf I guess I could put it on the inside right here so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with furnishings yet I know there are some things about furniture that they said was on the way I don't know what those are gonna be but all right got a bookshelf installed it's not in place of the window you can see it from the inside which is cool but yeah let's back up Timberland and check it out oh my gosh that looks so good guys I'm super super pleased with how that came out <laughs> I hope y'all like it that's gonna be it for this episode you guys as always thank y'all so much for watching if y'all did enjoy the video don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can always subscribe to the channel for more daily videos guys thanks so much for watching as always this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time.